Okay, gentlemen, we're going to take a look at our 1.6 notes in which you have posted some, you know, like your screenshot from your Desmos activity, which looks something like this. Okay, we noticed that all of my vertical changes were external changes, as we see down here, always external, and my horizontal changes were always internal, internal, internal. And they were opposite of what we thought we were going to do. So plus A actually meant to the left. Minus A actually meant to the right. Okay, And they were kind of like compositions as we see down here. Where I'm replacing the X with an A times X. Or replacing the X with a negative X. Or replacing the X with an X plus A. Right? And we kind of see those two things compared down here. Horizontal is internal and opposite of what we think and vertical is external and the way we would think. We did notice that this reminded us very much of even functions because they're the same on the left and right of the y-axis, which is negative x. Okay. I would take a look at this example, which we'll do. We're going to do this in two ways. The forward way, which I'll do in blue, meaning here, then here, then here. Then I'm going to do it backwards, meaning here, then here, then here. Either pause the video, screenshot this, and put it in, or pause the video, write this down, and put it in your notes. But either way, I'm going to keep moving to save time on this video. f of x is x squared. Okay. We want to do, first, horizontal shift two units to the right. Meaning, I'm going to do horizontal. That tells me internal. Okay. It's also going to be opposite of what I think. I want to go two units to the right, which tells me I'm actually going to write a minus two. To the right is usually positive x, but I'm writing minus 2. It's always kind of opposite of what we think. And horizontal tells me internal, telling me that i got to replace the x with an x minus 2. So there's my first step. Then vertical stretch by 3. External change, because it's horizontal. I'm sorry, because it's vertical. I'm taking the x, the f of x, timesing it by 3 on the outside. And there's me doing that. Vertical stretch by 3. I times it by 3 externally because it's vertical. Slide 5 units up. Up is a vertical change, meaning I'm going to have an external adjustment. I take my function, and now I'm adding 5 externally to the outside. And there's what I got. Okay. Now, let's make this look a smidge nicer. Okay. So, first, I'm going to foil this. Foil this. So, here's 3 times. That's going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, I do a full foiling. x minus 2 times x minus 2. Okay. PEMDAS, distribute the 3. x squared minus 12x plus uh, 12 plus... And then there's my plus 5, so I get 3x squared minus 12x plus 17. Okay, so here is that. Okay, let's see what happens when I do it the opposite way. Let's see what happens when I do it the opposite way. So let me box this in blue. Okay, now while, it, while you're getting ready to write that other thing down, Zad, Zaddy is out on all platforms, so make sure you go check that out on Spotify. Actually, it's not on SoundCloud, so check it out on Spotify. Zaddy. Okay, now we're going to look at going backwards. And I'm going to do the opposite order. I'm going to take this and duplicate it and slide it over here just so I have a little bit of room. I'm just po posting it again over here just so I can kind of write it again. So here is f of x. I'm doing it in green now. I guess I'll say it's g. We'll call it g of x. Okay, now we're going backwards. We're going this way now. Okay, so g of x is x squared. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is slide five units up. So, okay, here's my g of x. We just saw what I did. I do plus five externally because up is a vertical change. Then I vertically, externally, stretch it by three. So then I take my function and times it by... Three. But now, right, that's that's 3 to my function having already 
pushed it up five, right? That's three times my function already having pushed it up five. So this is what that means. We can already see what happened there. Okay, so I added, pushed it up five, times that by three, but I gotta have already pushed it up five. I've already done that. Now I times it by three. And then our last one is horizontally shift two units to the right. Horizontal. That means internal which means opposite of what I would expect, which means, as we saw, to the right, I think it's positive, which means negative. Okay, and here's my three, x minus two squared plus five. So we can already see this, this definitely looks a little different, but is it gonna come out differently? I don't know, let's see, right? And the key difference was I vertically stretched it by three after already sliding it up by five. Okay, so we're going to FOIL, which again, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4. There's my plus 5. Okay, now I have my 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 9. And would you look at that? I do get something slightly different as my answer. These two are not exactly the same. They're slightly off. Try to zoom out so we could see them both. These are not the same. They're close, but the green one is a smidge taller. Right? So the order does matter, and we can see that right in our second line. Either I already slid it up by 5, then I times it by 3, or in this one, I multiply it by 3 and then bring it up by 5. So you do get a slight difference. This one's taller. This one goes up by 10 more. Okay? So something interesting there, and you're going to get a couple of those for your classwork. Hey, okay. here we go. Let's do this one. After we complete this one, we'll stop the video so it's not too long for us, and we'll do another two examples of this for your acing assignment. So hopefully we grind through this pretty quickly. Okay, so now we're looking here. I wanna say, so assume we have an f of x. Now you don't know what that f of x is. It could be anything, but it was transformed, like say f of x was transformed by the following, right? And what we want to do is list out what happened. So tell me what this means. Right? I kind of did a little bit of hint of that up here for us. But let's see what happens. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write out what I see, kind of in order. Okay, so the first thing I notice is this 2 tells me I am, it's external, so it's vertical, right? because it's 2 times the f. It's not 2x. No, it's 2 times the whole thing. So this is a vertical stretch. And vertical is always how we expect it, so by 2, by a factor of 2, okay? Now, over here, I'll do this in a different color so we notice it. This is internal, which tells me it's horizontal. Internal is always a horizontal change, okay? Horizontal is also always opposite of what we think. So horizontal, and I am going to slide this because it's a plus or minus, the plus makes me think it's to the right, but it's actually to the left, one unit. Okay, so that tells me I'm sliding to the left, one unit. And then lastly, this over here, which is a minus three, but it's outside of the F, right? We're kind of saying this is my F stuff, and the parentheses is my function. It's my composition, kind of. That's external. This is also external, meaning vertical. It's a minus, so it's a, I call it a slide, and it's minus, so it's down by three units, okay? So we're working through that, where I kind of just looked at it left to right, and that's what I got from it. Technically, you could say different things occur, like what happens if I write this in a different order? Well, if this, were in, if this kind of red parentheses were back here, then you'd kind of have to say, well, I horizontally, then vertically slid down, then I multiplied it by two, right? But I'm just kind of listing the three things that happened. And I just went left to right because there really was no, there's no parentheses there. I'm just doing those red parentheses to show you that this is my internal stuff. Okay, that was the second and a half time I took that video, so hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm sure at this point you've already paused it, if you're listening to it at all. And if you are listening to it, some very important bonus keyword I'll have for you. Just make sure in your next